Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Neil Nar, and we're going to try out Forever Skies for the Wednesday uh, episode. So the premise behind it is you're in a post apocalyptic Earth uh, where you've returned to Earth after whatever wars and whatever destitution came in. Um, but the idea is we need to survive here. It's a little bit different because you don't just survive by walking around the Earth. Um, you actually get to build a base that flies around the Earth with you. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this to open. Well, I guess we're going to have to emergency escape it. So part of our item is uh, basically learn what's happened, figure out how to, I believe, uh, fix it, improve on it. And it's a beautiful game. I mean, it really is a beautiful game. I did play the first demo, and this uh, did get released here uh, last week, last Thursday. So, Check the database for details. all kinds of stuff. It's going to be talking to us for a while. Uh, stuff that we can loot. So machine parts, we'll use all this for construction down the road here. Um, our food is getting a little low, so we do need to find food. Um, but we first got to get through this door that's locked. So if I remember correctly, that's over this way. And yes, this here, we need to get a solid state battery to get the computer up and running. Uh, right now we have no tools, but you'll get tools that help uh, identify things. We'll probably get them pretty quickly here. And that devastating and as you can see it's it's nasty down below there's all kinds of stuff flying around and this looks nasty but whoa get back up there <laughs> i fell off so we'll open up this get some more parts and then we'll read this so i'll kind of let you pause and read that and then come in there's a few knowledge bank items health parameters so you can health decreases all this all these is as they decrease your ability to get infections go up and it talks about the different uh, parts that we've gotten first aids that we will get that we can use um, so that's all the documentation our to-do list is satisfy our hunger and power the computer so we got a couple of things so well there's some water that'll be nice later on uh, right now we don't have a light yet doesn't look like can't open that up. Can't take the space suit. Okay. I believe we will get a light pretty quickly. I don't think... I think we have to craft a light. I don't think we get it by default. Is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. So we can uh, take uh, the melons. We'll need that for food. Oh, he, he didn't have a good day. I can't go any farther that way and go this way and there's our fuse I knew we had to get over here to it now let's look at this melons they're negative 10 health right now once we cook them up I believe they will get uh, better for us so for now we'll just uh, save them so let you read this but it talks about uh, the dust and they're analyzing a virus to, from 400 years ago and basically surviving through that so we now should be able to get through this door and oh there we go machine parts another first aid kit that's good oh he's got all kinds of information there that don't make sense yet but it's probably has something to do with the cure and safety and everything okay we hit the extractor that's not good hello up oh, another uh, body so Noah stole the extractor okay go back up oh here's our ship so it's a balloon. You can grow the balloon ship. You can add space to it. There's a water thing here we'll work on. 
and something to fish uh, to, to get basically what they call insects and other stuff that grows down there. We can get bottles of water and fill that up from these reservoirs, which is kind of nice. Insect thing. Talks about uh, insect catcher on the airship, lower to dust, wait for a catch. We'll want to definitely do that. Take some food rations, that's good. More machine parts. Then we'll climb up the ladder here. I actually have to use the ladder to climb up. Let's see, do I have any more empty bottles? I do not, it doesn't look like. Okay, now I'm out. I had, I had a couple. Okay. Well, we'll get more here and we can uh, finish that off. We want to get as much water as we can get. And you see there's a lot of it here. Uh, this used to have a garden up here too, but they moved that. What do we have here? So, this is to-do list. Place a fabricator, craft a deck extractor, extract wall blocking with the workshop, get the research station. So, that's what we need to do. If I go to my to-do list, it'll tell me. So, find a way to depart. Uh, we need to craft the missing parts. Uh, let's see, is there a crafting thing we have to do to find, or can I just craft? Uh, let's see. more parts here put that membrane in there that'll get water there we go we satisfied our hunger that's good And, oh, this is what I had to get. Uh, I know there's a fabricator somewhere around here. Let's see, I'm going to put this right here for now. We may move it later. You can move things. Okay. And this is a door here. I am going to go ahead and put a lure on this. So we have our simple insect lure. This is what you use to fish with. And then hold will allow it to lower down and with this we want to uh, look at what we can build water I want this the deck extractor so we need one transformer so we got to find a transformer I don't think I can mix yeah I know it's decreasing I'm making sure I can't yeah I can't build a build that so I gotta find it whoop there we go we caught something so We'll raise it back up. And we got lettuce. Let's go ahead and lower the lure again. There's the transformer we needed. So now I can do the deck extractor. So this is vital. It's got two purposes. Printing completed. Uh, first is those blocks like that and that and that one over there we can destroy we also all these little floating debris hanging around like this we can basically take care of Whoop, go back this way raise this back up got another cabbage and lower this one more time. I think you get three or four on that. So you can see how well, everything that's glowing you can take apart. Let's see, we're getting metals and glass and synthetics.
Get this raised back up. There's a moth. Okay, so I'm out of lures, but I now have a moth. I, moths, I think, actually take your lure, but they are the better food. Food will go bad on you, so you do want to keep in mind on that. All kinds of stuff here to do. So we want to get into there. That's where our engines are at. Our research station. Which, that's how we can get an engine, so... Let's go ahead and grab what's in here. Okay, take that part. Notes about the... Research station, we'll grab the solid state battery because we'll need that. We got two of them, cool. If I remember correctly, the research station here does require a battery, so we'll take this. We'll put this in. Whoops, gotta get ducked down. Definitely going to need to expand our base as soon as we can. At least one block. Wait. Okay, so I can put a battery in there, then I can look at research, and so you can do repair patches, empty bottles, scanner, um, which is what they want us to research, and I need more metal. I only got five, so I need a lot more metal. Wait, that one's synthetics. Anything over on this side? There's some metal. should have more than enough metal. Yeah, I do. Okay, we'll get that started. Fabricator. I can do a water purifier. I do want to get that going. Okay. I would like to learn how to do uh, empty bottles because that's going to be important. And that's been... That's basically gotten all of it, so. Printing completed. so we can put this up here. And this is nice because you can put the dirty water in and it gives you clean water out. Let's see, so now we need to do a scanner. And you see it's Printing getting... Analysis completed. Doing dirty water into the clean. Now we can scan like this here. Sure. Yeah, no, it's all de decreasing. See if there's anything else to scan. And a water, that's good. We'll need that. Come up here, see if there's anything to scan. Very scan that. Oh, there's a body. So that's an engineering body, okay. Okay, so now we can take clean water. And I don't have any more dirty, it's all clean now, so that's good. I do need to uh, make more empty bottles, but I need more synthetics. And synthetics, we should already we just have to grab that off the things. Um, this will be nice later. This, we can wait for a little bit. Um, there are, will be a point where you need it. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and research that, just because we may need it. I need a more synthetic. One. More. I got 14. I need more. So this is a lot about like normal collecting uh, data and making things. So I still need a lot more.
Go ahead and research the repair patch while I have it there. Okay, we got that. Now let's go ahead and get an empty bottle going. And to-do list. We need to check studies menu. So if we go to studies menu, we have the scanner. So we need to synthetic cluster. We need to scan one of those. Um, tool charger we still need to get. So, so now we need to scan a synthetic cluster. There we go. So now we got new research by doing that. So now we can do engine, do storage box. That's good. So we need more synthetics. So let's go hunting for synthetics. And you can pick this up and move it, but it has to be on one of these platform ledges. I'm just leaving it here for now because most of the stuff is right in front of me here. if I got enough to start researching and let's go ahead and research that first I'm gonna work on more synthetics pretty much what you need to research it I believe is what you need to make it too so while we're crafting the engine I'm gonna go ahead and get a small box as we're going to need that that's the water condenser so I don't need to make it I can research it oh, what else do I need Oh, I need plastic scrap. I haven't found plastic scrap yet. Okay, we've got some more of that. Now we got to make an engine. Completed. I should have did that. Okay, let's look at the engine. So we need uh, some more synthetics as I just used all of it there. So I should follow the line. I just know some things we're going to need before we can take off. Should have enough for uh, engine now. I do, and you'll get more engines as you go, or you can build more engines. You can upgrade the engines. There's two types. There's the thrusting engine that makes you go backwards and forward, and then there's hover engines that allows you to climb higher. I'm gonna try to stay with the uh, tutorial as we go through a little bit for this walkthrough, but just realize that. Uh, there's a lot of constructions that you can do as you go along. Now that's cooking. Let's go ahead and... One thing I do need to do... Sorry, I just thought of this. I need to come down and scan bodies. I was a biologist. Okay, thank you. I'll be right back up to it. There's one more upstairs here. And there he is. And that was a navigator's body. Can't scan these guys yet. And it's a, you just have to shift, hit the shift button to make uh, movement. So now where do I want to put this engine? I can put it to the side or I can put it in the back. I think for now I'll put it in the back. You can move these, so that's nice. Maximum flight speed increased. Yep, so now we can go fast. Okay. Now i got to craft some food, fuel for it. I believe you get a hundred units, Printing completed. which is, 
Enough. I know it's only 50. I thought it was 100. So I'm going to put this in there. That'll get us started. A few more things. And then we'll take off and get out of here. I am going to do one last thing before we do that. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to do things. I have not made food. There we go. Electric cute cooker. We need to get food going, so I'm going to get the electric cook going. You can see my food level is dangerously low, along with my food. Need some more of that. Let's see. Let me go ahead and drink something. Your ship can get damaged in storms, or these things that I'm shooting out can hit you while you're flying. And that's never a good thing. Once you lock on, it automatically tracks too, just as a, a, a notice. So you don't have to actually move and follow it, it actually will track you. Okay, I should have enough for the cooker now. Let that cook up. Build. And let's see, let's continue. There are pieces of structure that if you take them down on buildings, like if I was able to shoot this building, there could be, it could start collapsing. Okay, let's get some food going. So to do food, you have to have some water in the slots. And you have to, uh, have, don't have rotten food. Oh, don't eat rotten food. That's moth, okay. That does give me some food, but it hurts my health. So just as a FYI, don't eat that. I do have more water I can collect. So let's go ahead and collect that. I don't know why it wouldn't let me earlier, but... Collect all the water we can have, because we're going to need it. That's all the water. So we'll get this. I got to empty that first. Okay. I'm gonna grab this guy out. Um, get some more water in me that way. Uh, it doesn't give me an empty bottle when I do that, but that's okay. That was cooked. Did I forget to cook it? I must have forgot to cook it. Let's get an insect collector going. Printing completed. And we'll get this on here. Go. Uh, where is my? First aid, machine parts. There it is. Sitting right in front of me. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to go ahead and take off. Get that door shut. Huh. There we go. That one will close. There we go. This wasn't... Okay, let's take off here. So you can... Speed up, you can change which way you go, you can climb higher altitude. I think I'm at the highest altitude now. Let me just depart this location. Okay. So we need to go to one of these single flashing lights. So we're just gonna go forward. I can lock my speed, so whoops. 
and hit the escape key so I can move forward without being on it and just real quick see if there's anything I have to make at the moment we're good at the moment Re angle towards that. So each one of these lights are places that you can explore. We will be able to get maps to see. Um, that's why I was going to see what we have here. I don't need, I'm going to probably research that, but I don't need to research it yet. So let's see, altitude is shift. At max altitude. I'm going to come over this way to land. It is like moving a tugboat around though. It is not the easiest thing to turn. It's not quick on the dime, especially at my current uh, abilities. I'm going to kind of turn this guy Now you can take damage when you land, so you do want to come down slowly. So, area. The preliminary analysis started. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. Uh, there is stuff that we can scan. Some of this will give you uh, things you can make, like this guy right here is what we needed for the next engine. So now we can get the turbines, which will get us up higher. Now they want us to get to a place with the double flashing light, but... I'm going to finish exploring this guy because there's stuff like this, synthetic cases. Um, we can take off these here plastic scraps. Those are the hardest things. Well, I won't say hardest. It's just they're not a plentiful. You'll get them a few each of the uh, single light towers. So you definitely want to pick them up whenever you can. Up my thing here. I do need to make a bed too. Put him in here. Hit the boil button. I'm going to try to make it to the next area before. You can overboil, so you, I don't want to spend a lot of time out here before I go back, but I want to get, get the battery out of here. There's stuff we can shoot on this. We can do it from flying or while we're in here, but right now I'm going to just grab everything. And that we learned railings for our shipbuilding. Oh, that's really good stuff. A lot of running around, seeing what you can loot. Repair tools, that'll be nice. Hey, don't see anything else. Some stuff we can... Metal components. Okay, I got a boiled moth, so I need to go grab it before it... Uh, goes away and now this one it will be good I don't need the food right this second I need to get another bottle if I can Printing completed. there we go now I can purify and I have some water to drink there we go save that for a little bit here while that processes so right now we need to re go to the research and we need to research more stuff. So 
So first thing is I want to get the turbine going. And single light ones you can get with this the way we are. If I remember correctly, the turbine's required to get to the next higher level. We're going to need that uh, storage crate too, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to get our first basic turbine. I think we only need one to start out with. And we're going to need storage here soon. I want to get this turbine on so you can see what it looks like here. There's all the moths flying around in a moth storm. Don't think those will hurt you. Okay, so if I look, my max altitude doesn't tell me, but our max altitude is definitely a lot. This is our max altitude, pretty much where we're sitting at. So when I put this guy, the right thing, there we go. When I put this on. Now it's increased. So now if I go into the ship, I can actually uh, go even higher. That allows me to take out things. some glass and stuff. I think that's everything. You can fall off the ship so keep that in mind. So with that I'm going to go ahead and land back down here. Like so. And there we go. That is the first 30 minutes. Uh, basically, we'll research uh, Airship Builder allows us to build additional uh, items, uh, space, so that's going to be very important. You need to get one electrical element, so you have to research electrical element, which you have to have one to research it. So there, that I think we get in the uh, double light one, and I don't see one handy close by. Usually you see one, but it's pretty foggy right now. I'm not seeing a double light one. There's another single over that way. I am getting tired, but yeah, I don't see one at the moment. But anyway, uh, it's a little, a little nasty out right here. I hate to end it on the nasty uh, scene, but this is the uh, basically the Forever Skies game. There's a lot to do, a lot of things to... Uh, capture and uh, or collect and build and survive and I think your goal is to figure out how to get rid of the virus so you can get the earth repopulated so I hope you all enjoyed this little walkthrough and uh, if you did hit that like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next one